On the 24th of May, 1969, a three mile or five kilometer long east to west fissure eruption cut across the chain of craters road and now buried pit craters of Aloe and Alae in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park along Kilauea's east rift zone. Eventually, the fissure consolidated about a quarter mile southeast of Pu'u Hulu Hulu, which is known as the Mauna Ulu eruption. Mauna Ulu is Hawaiian for growing mountain. Prior to 1983, the Mauna Ulu eruption was considered the longest and most voluminous eruption in centuries, lasting five years from 1969 to 1974 with pauses in between eruptions. The Pu'u O'o eruption, however, lasted 35 years from 1983 to 2018 and now holds the record. In the early part of the Mauna Ulu eruption, both Alai to the east and Aloe craters to the west were completely filled in with lava. The amount of lava that erupted from Mauna Ulu was 350 million cubic meters, covering an area of around 45 square kilometers with lava thickness as much as 8 meters or 28 feet thick. Lava fountains reach as high as 1,800 feet or 550 meters. In fact, spatter reached as far as Pu'u Hulu Hulu, a quarter mile to the northwest. The eruption ended on the 22nd of July, 1974. The Mauna Ulu shield grew to a height of 230 feet or 70 meters with a 400 foot or 150 meter wide crater at the summit and is about 400 feet or 150 meters deep. The hike to Mauna Ulu is around three miles or five kilometers round trip. It may take about two hours. Ensure you take some water and some snacks as well as rain gear because it can rain at any given time.
the base of Uhulu Hulu. There's Mauna Ulu. I go over the top of it. Rain or shine. Watch out, it's a uh, called Shuddy Pahoy Hoy. You can see you jump on top of that, you're gonna fall right through. 